What's going on guys? It's good to see you. Today on Iceberg TV, I want to give you my review of the Innova Pro Beast. So, I was having a very hard time, sort of in my bag. I had way too many discs that I was throwing well, but they were all very stable. And I was having a really hard time doing hyzer flip shots and turnover shots. So, um, I was talking to one of my buddies and he just had some discs in the back of his car and he had this thing so he, he sold me this guy for five bucks and I was like oh I was like either way it looks sweet but I definitely want to give it a try because it should be something that's a little less stable than I'm used to and will help me expand my game so this actually full time is in my bag because I had such a good experience with it this disc is actually not as understable as you would think I think the beast as a mold gets a bad reputation because it's like super wildly sold in DX plastic in major uh, retail stores like Walmart's and like Dick's Sporting Goods and you know places like that. So everybody who has ever owned a beast has usually owned like a DX beast when they first started and those DX beasts are like impossibly understable to throw like they're not good. So I was like kind of had that in my mind when I first decided to start throwing this guy and like after the first throw I immediately realized that this is going to be like one of my go-to like workhorse either hyzer to straight or honestly I can just hammer on this thing like on the slightest hyzer or even just flat and it's just going to go forward and then have like a more gentle fade than I'm used to. I'm used to throwing like uh, Discmania PD2s which are like way more stable. That's like my workhorse driver right now. It's a 10 speed, a five glide, negative two turn, and a two fade. It, this disc literally has the ideal flight for like tight woodsy shots where you need to finish off to the left. And you know, most discs are able to do that, but this beast goes straight so much further than so many other discs. The full flight of this disc is a huge emphasis on a forward punch. It maybe tips over, it just kind of tips over just a little bit and goes really straight, slowly comes out of it, and then crashes to the ground at the end. So, I've been throwing this again in the pro plastic. I'm a huge fan of pro plastic. Um, I don't see as many people throw it as I think should throw it, especially. I live in Georgia and it's really hot, like it's literally 90 degrees plus every single day in the summer. When your hands get sweaty, it's really hard to hold on to harder plastic discs like Champion or um, RPM Discs has their Cosmic Plastic or Discmania C-Line. A lot of people throw those types of plastics and when it gets hot and your hands start to get a little sweaty, it's like literally if it's like 90 degrees like 100 percent humidity you literally can't hold on to those kinds of discs so in this pro plastic it's really soft it's super flexible and it doesn't really get that much more flexible the hotter it gets so it always sort of feels the same now no matter how like sweaty you get all you have to do is wipe a little dirt on your hands grab your pro plastic and you can actually get a good hold onto the disc so my other drivers when it gets really hot like close to 100 degrees just slip right out of my hand they go that way and then I and then I get angry but this disc I can literally every time I throw it perfectly like the same way every single time I've had literally no issues with this disc so I just wanted to give my brief opinion on the Pro Beast because I think it's sort of a forgotten about mold that I still think has a lot of utility that I think will help and complement your game let me know if you throw a beast or if you're interested in trying one out Leave a comment in the comment section down below. This is Iceberg TV, and I'm out. Peace.